Hello everybody, you haven't seen me on this little screen in a while. Haven't seen me like this since my mundane mat videos. But it is Adam Malik here and Aaron and whew, we got something big to talk about today. Actually a couple big things, but they're all gonna be separate videos. First thing is the Dark Phoenix trailer. Now this is actually interesting because um just today it was announced that originally this movie was supposed to be released in November and then it got pushed back to Valentine's Day. And now today this movie is going to be pushed back again to June 7th during the summer movie season. So this already makes the trailer look very awkward. And if you haven't heard, this movie has had a long pretty bad production process. It's been real bad like I mean, just the fact that X-Men Apocalypse, to put it lightly, was not good. And people did not like that movie, so why would anyone get excited about this? You know, there's been production problems. They had to do extensive reshoots. I mean, it's one thing to have reshoots, but when they have extensive reshoots, that's a huge red flag. Because we all know what extensive reshoots did the Justice League and Solo. Those movies flopped badly. And also... The Disney Fox merger. I actually made a video on Dark Phoenix a couple months ago when the merger happened, and there was all this talk that oh, Dark Phoenix is gonna go under. There's no way it's gonna be released because it wouldn't make any sense, and it doesn't make sense because why would you make this movie when you know the series is not gonna continue? They're gonna be the X Men are gonna be in the MCU in only a few years, so the the fact that they still released this movie defies common sense. But here we are. Now in this trailer, we're going to react to it or review to it because... And actually, this is the first time I've done a trailer from Fox. Hopefully, they're not as annoying as some of the others when it comes to trailer reactions. Because every time I try to do one of these, I, I, I get blocked. It's the most annoying thing in the world. Hopefully, that doesn't happen here. So we're going to be watching the trailer. I'm going to be pausing at certain points. There's going to be no audio because you know how YouTube is, how copyright is. So let's do this. So if you don't know, this is the, no Dark Phoenix. It's all about Jean Grey. And they've actually explored this somewhat. A little bit in X Men: The Last Stand, the last movie where they tried to do this arc, and it didn't work at all. So, the fact that they would do this again is one thing, but the fact that it's they're doing it again with the same writer of X Men: The Last Stand. Not only that, that dude Simon Kinberg. He's going to be directing this movie, despite the fact he's had no experience directing, is another huge red flag. So, who knows at this point? Let's just continue. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, let's go back to Charles Xavier. Oh my gosh, this... this no wonder everybody's been making jokes about X-Men. Because of the continuity errors. He looks the same. He's barely aged. It's been like, what? Because First Class started in the 60s. And then Dark Phoenix was in the 70s. And then Apocalypse was in the 80s. And now we're in the 90s. He doesn't look like he's aged a day. That is terrible. That is horrible continuity errors. But to be fair, this series is... It has no continuity. So... What's the point? But it's... It really bothers me. And he's like, Oh, Gene! You know... You'll be fine. Because the last thing he said was, Oh, Gene! Like, when you saw the end of the world and people dying, it was like, it's, it was just a dream. I'm like, really, Charles? I know you're still... You haven't quite turned into Patrick Stewart yet. But... Come on, man. You're smarter than this. You're... It's ridiculous. Now, I know you can't hear it, but if you watch the trailer with full volume, you'll notice that when it shows the Fox logo, it, it says this is the end, which 
is very fitting considering what happened to Fox. And now they were purchased by Disney. So they knew what was coming. <laughs> hmm. So I guess we're just seeing, you know, Jean Grey just the struggle with Jean Grey because she's going to be the main character because if she wasn't, that would make no sense considering this is all about her. So I guess we're just going to see her struggle, you know, see how, and then she'll eventually become the Dark Phoenix. I don't know. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. Mm so, you know, if you since you can't hear it, I'll explain what's happening. You know, Jennifer Lawrence, yes, she's back. I know that just fills you all with such joy. It really doesn't because she has just become worse and worse. She doesn't. She does not care about this movie. She didn't care in Apocalypse, and I guarantee you, she's not going to care in this movie either. So the fact that she returns is just another bad thing. And apparently they're changing the way this happened because in I'm pretty sure like in because in this movie they're showing like oh well I'm about to show you. I right hear. So Jean Grey goes to a little episode, a little, you know, telepathic episode, and kills her parents. Mm-hmm. So I guess we got to add her to the list of you know, or her her parents to the list of dead parents. First, you got Batman and Superman, and Spider Man, and then Green Lantern, the Ghost Rider, and who else? Oh, Star Lord. Uh, I guess you know Tony Stark, you know Iron Man, Thor, because his dad died. <laughs> oh, it's not a fun list, but. The fact that she killed her parents, I don't remember that in the other continuity. Do you? Like in X-Men 3 The Last Stand, do you remember her killing her parents? No, all I remember was her lifting up everything. Lifting up like a lawnmower, a hose, cars. That's about it. She didn't kill anybody. So they're just, they're just making up the rules as they go along. Let's <sighs> continue. See, it just... Destruction. Oh, wait, what, what, hold on. Oh, that, that outfit. Ugh. I know Min fans have been like, oh, we need comic accurate costumes. This is why we shouldn't have that. Because the same with like, I know everybody wanted to see Wolverine in the yellow spandex. I know. But you have to understand in live action... It would look super goofy, and no one would take it seriously. The same as Falcon's costume, his original costume, or Aquaman's original costume. No one would take those seriously. That is why they changed it. But here, this just looks bad. It just doesn't look good. At all. Oh my god, Gene. So, out of all the people that talk to you, you want to talk to Magneto, a guy who turns face and heel so much that he's become the big show of the X-Men? <laughs> like, he's... Why would you trust this man? He's been so, like, on and off. Like, he doesn't know if he's like, wanting to be a good guy, wants to be a bad guy. It's so inconsistent. They've done it so many times that I guess they're just like, why not do it again? Just, come on, Gene. Why would you trust this man? Considering everything he's done, I mean, you're you're smart. You're smart. You're better than this, but whatever. Oh, this is a new character, uh, Jessica Chastain. No one's no one's quite sure who her character is, but I guess we'll find out eventually. But she has all white hair now, so it's interesting. So she's, so she's like, she's like basically getting to Jean Grey's head, just like, oh, you don't belong here. You're, you know, you're. Hold on, let me. Yeah, she's like, 
you know, you don't belong here. You know, you feel different and and stuff. Oh, look at Cyclops. Here's another problem. Gee, you know, this whole saga, the Fe the Dark Phoenix saga, is supposed to be all about, you know, not only Jean Grey, but also about Cyclops and their relationship. How am I supposed to care about their freaking relationship when they barely used in the last movie? And now you expect me to believe their relationship is legit? Like, what? That is just too unbelievable. And besides, Cyclops, this one's just not even good. Neither is Jean Grey. I think they were both terribly cast. Because when I think of Jean Grey, I think of Famke Johnson. Famke Jensen Johnson. Ugh. She is Jean Grey. She owned that role. No one is going to take that away from her. And, you know, James Marsden, sure, he was killed off pretty badly in X-Men 3, but he was decently cast as well. He was all right. But th these two, just, Sophie Turner and Ty Sheridan, just, no, I don't like them at all in these roles. It was just really, just not a good decision at all. And the fact that they expect me to care about the relationship is just laughable. But let's continue. Wait, is that... Hey, Quicksilver, everybody's favorite character. I've heard in this movie he's going to be more mature, which sucks. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't ruin his character entirely. So you got Quicksilver. There's... Oh, dang it. There's Storm. Looks like she has a, a new and improved haircut. Still hasn't reached Halle Berry level haircut yet. But, you know, she's getting close. So, yeah, now we have Storm again. I don't know what that is. Oh, da oh, dang it. So now we got Beast. <sighs> Poor Beast. I mean, Kelsey Grammer was, was, you know, out of all the bad things in X-Men 3, you know, Kelsey Grammer was definitely one of the better things of X-Men 3. He was definitely, he was well cast as Beast. But this Beast just, first of all, not he's looked the same for 30 freaking years so that's all so that's already a problem but also he just doesn't i never really liked his you know nicholas halt's version of beast i mean he does a good job with what he's got but he just doesn't scream beast to me well kelsey Grammer did a, looked far better as beast than nicholas halt i'm sorry but that's just the truth that's just how i feel about um his casting most of the casting here is just I just don't see them as these characters. The only ones I really like are, you know, Magne you know, James McAvoy as Professor X, Michael Fassbender as Magneto, maybe Evan Peters as Quick Quicksilver, as long as they don't ruin him. Other than that, it's just been not so good casting, and it's it's a shame. Oh look, Jennifer Lawrence, if she gets. She better not get that much screen time. Because if she does, I might just have to walk out on this movie. Because Mystique is just terrible. X-Men Apocalypse, if you haven't seen it, her character is just the worst. The worst. And I think I remember before that, she was just like... I don't, I'm don't. i doing my own thing, and now she's just back with Xavier. Like, she's, again, just like Magneto. She's flip-flopping from being good to bad to good to bad to good to bad. It's so inconsistent. It's such bad writing. So let's just get the rest of this over with because I'm already getting angry. Hmm. What does this remind you of? You know what this reminds me of? A little movie called... Oh yeah, The Last Stand. What? You got all the X-Men here in their OG costumes. The comic actor costumes are going to be fighting Gene and Gene's going to take them all out. He's gonna go to Professor X and press like Gene, I can still see the good in you. Don't let this control you. And then she just rips him in, into pieces again. That would be interesting. <laughs> but I just it's just let's just keep going. Just oh yeah, and everybody's in these. I don't like these costumes. They look so cheap. <laughs> they don't look good at all. I prefer the black costumes over this. Because at least they looked somewhat cool. This just looks so lame. 
in comparison. And then Cyclops over here is like, Jean, I love you. <laughs> oh, this movie's gonna suck and it's gonna suck hard. I know it will. Oh, look at destruction. Another problem, I mean, sure, she's, like, destroying a helicopter, but she doesn't really do anything that you're just like, wow, this is so cool, I have to see this movie. She just, what, destroys a couple cars, destroys a helicopter, and that's it, that's all she does? Wow, so powerful. No, it's not. Let's keep going. Oh, this is the first X-Men movie that's gonna go into space. Because they have to have something to sell this movie. So now they're going to space. I don't know how they're going to explain that. But they're going to space. Hopefully they... Well, it's not going to happen because it'll be impossible. Maybe they'll meet the... Okay, maybe not the Guardians because they're in a bad place after <laughs> what James Gunn did. So... Not the Guardians. Maybe Thor. Or Thanos. Or S Silver Surfer. Where is he? He hasn't been in a movie in like since Fantastic Four 2 a decade ago. Where is he? They should start using him again. Because he's a cool character. It's a shame he's just kind of stuck doing nothing. And also you got Mystique's makeup here. Looks so inconsistent. Just again the theme of inconsistency. First with how the characters look. You know, when it comes to, like, their age, how they all look the same, despite the fact it's been 30 years. And now you got Mystique here. This is... I don't even know anymore. What else can I say? She doesn't even look the same as the other movies. Like, it's... It's so bad. <laughs> oh, Explosion. Oh my gosh, the hair. It's so red. Like I've never seen Mystique's hair that red. Ever. Maybe it's just the explosion. But that hair looks... Oh, so fake. And I know Jennifer Lawrence, she's just like, I really don't like this. I don't like this makeup. I don't like it at all. Can I get... Can you get this off of me? Because we all know, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, she has complained about this makeup. That's the reason why an X-Men... Apocalypse, she doesn't have the makeup, the makeup on for most of the movie. People were upset about that. And so I guess they're just like, you better put on this makeup. Because if you don't, we're going to kick you out. Because <laughs> we don't want the fans pissed off at us again about this. So you're going to be wearing that makeup. So that's what she's doing. And she just looks like, ugh. I should have left. <laughs> I should have left this series a long time ago. But let's keep going. Oh, uh, wait, what, what was that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, we got to keep going back. Yeah, he has something. Oh, looks like his helmet. He hasn't used that since... Did he use it in Apocalypse? I forget. I know he used it in Days of Future Past. So he's brought back the helmet. Cool, I guess. Not really, but at least it's something. Oh, oh you, you should definitely see this trailer for this one part. Because Michael Fassbender is Magneto. He's just roasting Charles. He's just like, all you do is just give a speech. And nobody cares. That is just hilarious, you know. At least, you know, I got something enjoyable out of this trailer. Just Professor, you know, Magneto roasting Charles is great. Ugh. And then there's a bunch of stuff happening. So, I believe there not here. Right here. No, a little further. Somebody's gonna die. We all know this. Because if you've seen like some of the set photos, you know someone is dying. 
Who? I'm not sure. Well, it's definitely not going to be Beast. Thanks a lot, trailer, for for spoiling that. So it's not going to be Beast. It's not going to be Professor Xavier. It's not going to be Storm. Quicksilver? It makes sense. It wouldn't be the first time they killed him. (laughs) Because we all know they killed him in the MCU. So it only makes sense to kill him in the X-Men universe, too. So the people who... It might be him, but who knows? So you can scratch off Beast, Professor X, Storm, and oh, Nightcrawler. You could is that Nightcrawler? Hold on, you need to go back. Yes, that is Nightcrawler. Scratch him off off the list too. <laughs> so yeah, way to um way to set up that drama. <laughs> this is almost over. We're almost there. Oh, what was happening there? As you see right here, this must be the Phoenix Force. I mean, it it, go, it went by very quickly, but it was a, a somewhat cool visual. The only cool visual in this whole trailer. And now we reach the end. She has like crack. If you see very closely, she has cracks in her face. I'm guessing they show that. Oh, the the phoenix is inside her, and it's gonna break free and just kill everybody. And Jean Grey is just trying to keep it in, or something, some crap like that. I don't know. I guess that's what it means, but at least that's what I think. And also, this movie doesn't have you know your typical X Men colon title. It's just called Dark Phoenix. Yeah, that's really going to help people who've never seen an X-Men movie. They're going to be like, Dark Phoenix, what is that? I mean... But they do, you know, showcase the X. You see the X, like, in the circle. And then it's old release date, which is now outdated. Because it's supposed to come out... Now it's going to come out June 7th. But, oh my gosh, this movie looks like a train wreck. I'm not excited at all. Nothing here excited me in the slightest. They're already seeing several issues, continuity errors. um, Just the fact that I'm supposed to believe this relationship between Jean Grey and Cyclops, even though they barely have any chemistry. Magneto flip-flopping, Mystique flip-flopping. Uh, Jessica Chastain, don't know what's going on with her, but this movie just looks bad. I'm sorry. If you're excited for this movie, great. Have fun. But me, no, because this movie shouldn't exist. There's no reason for it to exist other than to make money. And it's... I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this movie is going to be good? Or do you think it's going to be trash? Like, you know, like, you know, what I think. Let me know in the comments. So I guess that's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and I will let you know if this video does get copyright claimed. If it does, I'm going to have to take it down. But if it doesn't, I'm going to leave it up. So that is all, and I am out.